Welcome back to our final lesson on smart objects and then we're going to go into creating actions. Now I'm going to open this file here but it's in the PSD format so it's going to open up in the Photoshop automatically. I have it open already. As we can see here let's just say it's a little flyer for Atlas Bodybuilding Championship but I realized a couple things. I realized that my date was wrong so I need to go back into my smart object and correct this date. How do I do that? Because it looks like everything's together. Well just double click on the smart object and then it's going to tell you all these good things. This is going to open up two more smart objects. So what I did is I clicked this and then clicked this and both of these were active and then I right click and said convert to smart object and it combined those two to a smart object. That's nesting. Then I'm going to click again and I'm going to change the date to the third. Alright. Commit it. Close it click yes and you see the PSB extension so you know you're doing things right okay and I'm gonna close it again yes save it alright so as you can see here it changed the date it didn't affect anything else I kept it as a smart object and I had two more um, smart objects nested in within this huge um, smart object which is about 45.7 million pixels. Now let's do something even a little bit more different. So let me double click again. Click OK. Now this time I want to change the lettering and I want to get rid of the fill. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to reduce the fill opacity and use a drop shadow. Click OK and then for this I'm gonna change the 16-bit mode until an 8-bit mode. Why? Because when you change from a 16 to 8-bit mode a lot of your filters will open up. You can use a lot of your other filters, don't get me wrong, but for the purpose we want to use this filter. And I'm gonna tell you about certain things that are unique. Image, where is it? Image, adjustments, shadow highlights. Now obviously I'm gonna reduce this okay there we go I'm gonna move this over here this is the type of setting that if you do not use a smart filter it applies it directly to the image so when you open it you have to do a control Z then fix it and then keep editing back and forth and it can get a little cumbersome and maybe a little annoying too so I'm just making some changes here and then I click OK and you're gonna see this is gonna add it as a smart filter now what's a smart filter well I have my shadow and highlights I can double click on this icon and guess what? It's going to bring up back the blending options where I can change the opacity and the mode. Double click on the word itself and I get the whole panel to come back. I'm going to click cancel and I can readjust it and save it again. If I don't want the shadow highlights, just take it off. And I can even mask. Now here's the thing about smart filters. You can have all these filters underneath as well let's apply another one let's go to filter gallery and I'm gonna accept the default for note paper under sketch click OK and usually with the filter gallery it usually um, works with your foreground background colors so I'm using this instead so now I have two filters and it goes from the bottom up so it's applying the shadow highlights filter first and then the filter gallery now I can go to the smart filter and I can paint on it black Okay, let me increase my, so you can see what it will do. And you can see it will bring back Atlas himself. All right. Now, we only get one smart filter for all of these. So however you're going to do this, just choose wisely, because you can't have a smart filter for each um, filter, unfortunately. All right. And now I'm going to close it because I like the settings. Click Yes. okay now let's think about this for a second look what this smart filter did we open the image in the Photoshop native format we then open up the smart filter which had two others we open the smart object which had two other smart objects we open those smart objects change the date change the fill and then we went into the other smart object change the mode from 16 to 8 bit applied two filters which we can then adjust anytime we want then close it back and we're back into our original smart object with 16-bit mode 
And as you can see here, most of the filters are not available. Now in the next lesson, we're going to talk about actions.